the connection between the greeks and sanatana dharma also called as hinduism goes back a long time the vedic literature the 18 puranas tamil sangam literature and tamil epics speak of greeks their riches and their valor it is also noted that greeks lived among the vedic people the greeks participated in the kurukshetra war which took place during the mahabharata times between the kauravas and the pandavas they bought the greeks fought the war along the side of duryodhana on the advice of karna the greeks were known as yonas and yavanas the yavanas the greeks were part of those people considered as milechas meaning those who strayed from the vedic dharma they were initially following the sanatana dharma and they had gone astray they had caste system along the lines of hinduism many of them were considered to be kshatriyas and vaisyas quote yavanas were described to be beyond gandhara there was another country mentioned in the epic as paramayona in the west of yavana this could be the ionia of greece somehow related to the indian ionians or yavanas the name yavana could be the sanskritized form of the name ionia yavanas sakas pallavas and hunas were sometimes described as milechas sometimes along with them the madras kambojas kekayas sindhus and gandharas were also included this name was used to indicate their cultural differences with the vedic culture prevail in the kuru panchala kingdoms in the parts of southern india where the early tamil poems of uncertain date but now the date is uh, arriving at around about 20000 years ago speak of a settlement of the yavanas the same author does not follow the assumption that yavanas were roman traders although the she points out that between the first second century bc up to and including the third and fourth century ad rightly or wrongly the term yavana denoted an ionian greek on pages 83 and 85 to 85 she makes mention of early indian literature where foreigners were dubbed yavana and points to an ashokan inscription inscription where a border people is given this appellation in central and western india she says yavana figure prominently as donors to the buddhist sangha reference hp ray the winds of change delhi this thus the vedic society acknowledged their extraordinary skills but kept them as outcasts an account in the epic depicts yavana as the descendants of durvasu one of the cursed sons of king ayadhi only the fifth son of purush line was considered to be the successor to the ayadhi throne of course ayadhi belongs to the chandravamsa he cursed all the other four sons and denied them kingship pauravas inherited the ayadhi original empire and stayed in the gangetic plain who later created the kuru and panchala kingdom they were the followers of proper vedic culture quote yavana was the name of the sons of maharaja ayadhi who was given the part of the world known as turkey to rule therefore the turks are yavana due to being descendants of maharaja yavana the yavana were therefore kshatriyas and later on by giving up the brahmanical culture they became milechya yavanas descriptions of the yavanas in the mahabharata refer adi parva 85.34 another prince called turvasu was also known as yavana as and his country was conquered by sahadeva one of the pandavas the western yavana joined with duryodhana in the battle of kurukshetra under the pressure of karna it is also foretold that these yavanas also would invade india in kali yuga reference shrimad bhagavatam 2.4.18/1 it later proved to be 2 in 326 bc in 
Alexander's invasion. Among the tribes of the north and west are Malaychas and the Kururas, the Evanas, the Chinese, the Kambojas, the Dharunas and many Malaychas tribes. The Sukrutbahas, the Kulatas, the Hunas and the Parasikas, the Ramanas and the Dasmalikas. These countries are besides the abodes of many Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra tribes. Then again, there are the Sudra and Abhiras, the Dhardras, the Kashmiras, the Pattis and the Kasiras, the Atreyas, the Bharatvajas, etc. 6.9 King Ayati, a king of Lunar dynasty, is mentioned to have five sons, all of whom became the founders of many royal dynasties. The sons of Yadu are known by the name of Yadavas, while those of Turvasu have come to be called the Yavanas. The word Yona in the Pali language and the analog Yavana in Sanskrit, Unan in Urdu and Joban in Bengali are words used in the ancient, ancient Indian valley to designate Greek speakers. Yona and Yavana are transliteration of the Greek word for Ionian, Homeric Greek, Ionas, ancient Greek, Ionans who were probably the first Greeks to be known in the East. The Yavanas are mentioned in the Buddhist disclosure of the Middle Length sayings, in which the Buddha mentions in the, to the Brahmana Asalayana the existence of the Kamboja and Yavana people who have only two castes, master or slave. The direct identification of the word Yavana with the Greeks at such an early date, 6th to 5th century BCE, can, may be doubted. Examples of, examples of direct association of those with Greeks include the mention of the Yona king Antiochus in the Edicts of Ashoka, the mention of the Yona king Ant- Antialcidas in the Heliodorus pillar in Vidisha, King Menander and his bodyguard of 500 Yonas in the Melinda Panaha, the description of Greek astrology and Greek terminology in the Yavana Jataka, Sayings of the Yavanas, 150 CE. The mention of Alexandria, the city of Yonas, in the Mahavamsa, chapter 29, 4th century BC. In Sanskrit sources, the usage of the words Yona and Yavana, Yonaka, Yavana, or Javana, etc., appears repeatedly and particularly in relation to the Greek kingdom, which neighbored or sometimes occupied the Punjab territories over a period of several centuries from the 4th century BC to the 1st century AD, such as the Seleucid Empire, the Grecio Bactrian Kingdom, and the Indo Greek Kingdom. The Yavanas are mentioned in detail in Tamil Shangam literature, such as Pattinapale, describing their brisk trade with the Cholas in Tamaragam. There is a city near the colony of Cholas, um, I mean, colony of Greeks found near Madurai Tamil Nadu and in for <coughs> Augustus there is a statue in Tamil Nadu, in ancient Tamil Nadu. The legend of Krishna along with Balarama, Greek ambassador worshipping Vishnu, establishing a stupa in India, being worshipped in Greece may be found in may be found in India. I will be podcasting them, podcasting them in the coming episodes.